guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 7 of D4 DJ All Mix. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So now we should be getting into the second song for each group. What's up? But it's missing something. But that's a problem, though. Now, come on, Noah. I mean, the episode is about you today. I mean, is there time for that? Okay. 
I mean, I think it's a good idea. True. <laughs> Go ahead, Zaki. True, you are right about that. They're real phones? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I get you, Noah. Yes. It's a good idea. True. See, Ibuki just needs a little more time warming up to it. Oh my god! <laughs> The fact that they just had them in happy arounds outfits, I can't. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no.
You have to be very professional regardless. But they do look cute. It kind of gives you feels towards the new Saudi relations gotcha in the business suits. So. How do we feel? Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Why did their management change, though? Then it, ha it has to something to do with the game, so I'm going to go back and look. And it has to probably do with what's-her-face, you know, possibly leaving. But like, oh, I'm going to go back to my old unit. Come out when she's ready. It would have been nice to see the conversation or hear it, but no. I think so too, baby. If y'all don't hug her. Here we go again. Kawasaki.
baby so Parker. Oh my god. So cute. Exactly. I mean, I think we all kind of thought that, especially when we first initially saw, like, the very first image of Fontame, and it's like, oh, okay, then everybody must be cool AF, and then once you get to know them, you're like, damn, they're so different, but you, that's what you love about these girls, and literally every unit in this series. <laughs> <laughs> sure did <laughs> I know that is a hell of a lot cute, but that's Noah. <laughs> they surely did. <laughs> I know I can also say all this so freaking quickly. She is like, I am ready. <laughs> and that's also why I love Ibuki so much. Uh, uh, well, damn, Noah. They're going to say, guys, it's okay. It's okay. You did a good job. Oh. <laughs> right? And that just tells you how much you love the group. Well, I think it's a yes. There we go. <laughs> the fact that she is starting the song. Oh. That's our Ibuki, the baby. He love working out. It's so cute. Oh my god, my baby! I love her so much. Like, oh, it still once again makes me miss her old voice, but still love the hell out of her new voice. 
because she still gives me feels to her old Seiyu, and that's good. You all, you still kind of want that anytime when the new Seiyu comes in to replace the old one. That was cute. Very different, but cute. And, and it's good to go against the difference and to challenge it. And they did a good job. Especially proud of Noah. I can't. Precious baby girl. Like, I think out of the four of them, the most cards I probably have is of Ibuki. I have too many Ibuki cards. And I think after Ibuki, it will be Noah, then Saki, then Toa. But funny enough, I think out of the four, initially for the four star cards, I think Toa came home first for me. Which was very surprising. And then, like, Ibuki, for me, she came home on, like, a single pole. And I was like, yes! I was like, oh! <laughs> But I don't... I think I have their initials already all completed. I think mainly almost for everybody um, of the originals without counting Nichiru's group and um, Abbasmir. I am close to getting everybody's first initial four stars. And I think I have everybody's initial three stars and such. Okay, but going into this, for a noah focus based episode, this was good. I mean, still, it's a font on made episode. But Noah, baby did a damn good job today. Like, her purveying and showing everyone what she thinks is cute and what her definition of cute is and the fact that they all got to go outside and show their actual personalities instead of their personalities as Fontal made in the group is good. I mean, it's adorable and it's something different. I mean, damn, like I love what season two is doing. We're doing something that's hella different. So now would that be the Lyrical Lily focus based episode or are we getting another font on? It, it seems more Lyrical Lily based because it, like I said, if we're going into second songs, everybody initially has already done their first song. So we have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 more, five more weeks or six more weeks. I think it's 12 or 13 episodes. So at least everybody in the end is going to get two episodes. And then what I'm, I mean, not two episodes, two songs. And then what I'm also kind of hoping is that we do get a song where everybody is singing. Especially, I would like for them to use the ending song because that song is just good AF. Now, the situation on their producer and how they're doing that. It, it's interesting that they're under new management. So I would have to go back and look at the game and to see. And it had to happen sometime after the first D4 Fest that we had and such. So whatever happened and for her to leave and be like, okay, I'm going back to my old group or really doing her unit, her new unit with that other girl whose name I can't remember. And then eventually bringing back Nanamisa's keys character and such and being like, okay, let's all get back together and such. Something tells me they're going to talk about that later in the series or preferably in season three because Season three is the last time that literally the call of a new, new uh, the call of Artemis girls, Arbus Mayor girls, and Mitridu's group, which I don't remember the name of, have to make their grand entrance. Now I would still want them to make a grand entrance in this season since we are officially past the halfway point of this because I know we have at least six more episodes left because I think it is 13. So here's hoping that yeah I really love the fact that each and every single week the challenges that each group faces into bettering themselves and getting a different song is good for them. I mean Especially with Noah like saying like let's try it like this and at first yes her you know her people under the management were very at first against it even though she's like quoting so many different quotes and such and from all these iconic people but they're like 
we understand that, but we need something from your POV. We know everything that you're telling us, but this isn't you. What is it? What is cute to you? And once she described and how happy she was describing about Sakitoa um, and Ibuki, that really signified that their management was 100% all in it. Once you get to see someone be in their element and show how passionate they are about it, of course, everyone's going to follow through and say, yes. So really, props to Noah this week. Oh my God, I feel like she's going to get the vote this week, especially on Friday when this episode um, eventually does air because, of course, they are a week behind us. So when this episode airs, definitely... Um, when we get into who will get the vote, it definitely either will be Noah or Saki or Ibuki or even Toa because all three of them really did, I mean four, all four of them did really help the crap out of each other. So who really knows? It could be anybody's game. But other than that, guys, that is my action review towards episode seven of D4DJ All Mix. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 8. Bye guys!